We're now going to look at the second technique you can use to increase sample size. If you've just joined us, I'd recommend watching part 4.1 first. This is all about increasing the number of trades by testing multiple instruments simultaneously. If your system only appears to work on one instrument or symbol, so as an example, it only performs well on pound dollar, but no others, then there's a really good chance it's overfitted to that data. Now, I know that you might have developed a strategy that specifically targets some characteristic of pound dollar, and if that's the case, then that's fine. But if you've developed a generic system and then tested on lots of instruments, but it only appeared to work on one, so in our case, pound dollar, then the likelihood is that you have overfitted to the data of that instrument. I perform all of my testing on 22 different instruments simultaneously. And by doing this, it means that I get in the region of 15,000 to 20,000 trades executing per test on average. And this gives me a single set of generic parameter values that work best across all 22 of those symbols. For me, this produces very robust parameter values. Now, again, I know that there will be some of you listening to me that will say, but different symbols have different price action and different personalities. And so you need to use different parameter values for each symbol. But again, my view is that I prefer to have one set of parameter values that have really high statistical significance, results that I can trust, as opposed to different parameters for each symbol that might be more in tune with each individual instrument, but risk overfitting and ending up with parameters that don't work at all. And I'll remind you from the previous episodes just how easy it is to overfit with small sample sizes. And you will probably only get relatively small sample sizes if you're running your optimizations on a single symbol. So my advice is to think twice before using parameter values for each symbol. Now, if you're using the MT4 strategy tester for your optimizations, then unfortunately you won't be able to run multi-symbol optimizations. It just doesn't have the functionality to do that. If you're using the MT5 strategy tester, however, you will be able to do this. And there are clearly other alternative testing platforms out there also that provide this functionality to perform multi-symbol testing. I do just want to clarify one thing. When I talk about using MT5 to run these multi-symbol tests, I'm not talking about the inbuilt capability to use all market watch symbols as shown here. This functionality does actually have a valid use case at a different stage of the process. And I'll show you where this can be useful in a later episode. But this built-in feature runs separate back tests against each symbol. So if you test against 22 symbols, you get 22 different sets of results. It also doesn't allow any parameter optimization, so this isn't what we need right now. What I am talking about is having an EA that is multi-symbol enabled in the code of the expert. And this can be used to run an optimization against all of the symbols we need simultaneously to get just one set of results. And as I said before, you can't do this in MT4. You can actually have a multi-symbol EA that runs in MT4 in production, but it's the MT4 strategy tester itself that isn't designed in a way to accommodate multi-symbol EAs. So this might be a good reason for you to consider upgrading your EAs to MT5. You also get other significant benefits. The MT5 strategy tester is on a completely different level to the MT4 version. It's intrinsically much faster, it's multi-core enabled, so again, this also contributes to massive reductions in test times. And from my own experience, I can say that I would never go back to MT4 now. Now, I do have plans to share and explain my multi-symbol code for this in a future series on MQL5 coding techniques. But that won't be until after I finish this series on backtesting. So now let's move on to technique three. This technique is similar in principle to testing on multiple symbols, 
except here we're simultaneously optimizing against multiple time frames. So for example, the M15 chart at the same time as the H1 and the H4 charts. And just like with multi-symbols, the idea is that we get a much higher number of trades, and so therefore our results are much more statistically significant. Now there are some strategies where this technique simply won't be appropriate. So if you have a strategy that's based on a market open and only opens trades at that time of day, then clearly this technique is irrelevant. However, if your strategy is based on indicators that can run on any chart time frame, then it might be relevant. Only you can make that decision based on what you know about your own strategies. It's also worth saying that if you can get a very high number of trades without needing to employ this technique, then I'd probably recommend running separate optimizations on each time frame to identify the parameters that work best on each of those time frames. However, if you can't get sufficient numbers of trades on a single time frame, then this is a really excellent way of increasing sample size and producing parameter values that are more generalized and work across a range of time frames. And again, I do plan to walk you through the MQL5 code for this at some point in a future series. So let's summarize. We've looked at three techniques to increase sample size. And we did this by increasing the duration of tests, optimizing multiple symbols simultaneously, and finally, optimizing multiple time frames simultaneously. And taking these three steps will enable you to produce more statistically significant results, parameter values that are much more robust and much less likely to be affected by overfitting. So if you think you've benefited from this episode, then please like and share the video and also consider subscribing. In the second part of this episode next week, I'll look at the next three techniques that you can use to specifically avoid noise overfitting and events overfitting. So until then, trade safe.